not a manifestation of the creator. Anything unnatural is a creation of evil, which dwells in the realm of illusion. Now, why do I say it's a creation of evil? Because nature is God. Nature wouldn't give you nothing unnatural. See, when you deal with the devil, which is a dragon, or the white man, they are kicked out of heaven. Your pineal gland connects you to the creator. 85% of the white race has calcified pineal glands. So when people say not all white people are like that, I tell them, yeah, 15%. But the other 85 is definitely like that. <laughs> and that's too damn much for me. Right. So for, forget them all. <laughs> now with that being said, when we deal Nobody with wanted. somebody who yeah. cannot connect to nature, by default, all their creations are unnatural. What has the white man created that's been unnatural? Homosexuality? You might partake in it today. That's what you like to do, do it. But it's unnatural and it ain't right. It ain't the African way. You like McDonald's? Show me a McDonald's in Egypt and I'll eat it. Show me. Show me where Osiris said, my aunt, go get me a number three, a small fry. <laughs> and you know I like them cheese. You know I like Cheeto. No. Not my aunt, Everything sorry. that's unnatural is created by the white man. I don't know one thing natural he's created. Gun. Vaccine. Right. We, no disrespect. GMOs. GMO himself is a GMO. Right. Every transsexual. Yeah. Ain't no transsexual walk around Egypt. You ain't never seen Haru turned into Holly. Mm -hmm. Never. He was Haru on Monday and he was Holly on Saturday. Oh. No. No, sir. Everything that this man created is unnatural. That's right. Because he's, his thinking process cannot connect to nature. That's what he was created for. Yeah. If you want to chop down the forest, you create, what's them trucks called? Let's just say dump truck. If it's wrong, mm -mm, it's dump truck today. Now let's say one of them dump truck things. You want to knock down a forest, you come with one of those. Oh, if you want to create a humanoid entity to suppress God, you come with the exact opposite. Somebody who can't even contact God. So, the, the, and that's why his thinking is irrational. It's not rational. Even when he pull you over. Can I see your license? Here's your license. Can you step out of the car? Why do I got to get out? You know who I am. So white people drive us crazy because we're trying to rationalize something that's unrational. We're trying to look at broken glass and still see our reflection. Mm. Cut them off. Chop, I chop their heads off. Yeah. Literally. Right. Now, evil dwells in the realm of illusion. Why? Because anything that's an illusion, you can do it physically, but spiritually you can't. So that's why it's evil. Because when you see rappers with money and houses and all of that, yeah, that's cute, but that's not spiritually correct. So we call it an illusion because you can eat a Snickers, but it's technically not real. An illusion is something that you can physically experience even though you're not spiritually supposed to. You're not never, put this in your, put this in your psyche. You are never supposed to be able to wake up, go outside, and eat McDonald's. That's an illusion. But some people think it's real because you can do it. No. See, anything can be physically created, but that don't mean it's spiritually alive. Mm -hmm. So this is where God or the creator comes in. So when we deal with the realm of illusion, you G-check yourself spiritually first in order to guide yourself physically. Now, spiritually, you're not in tune with yourself and you're living a lot, then you'll snort cocaine. You'll live that Hollywood life. You'll pop bottles and you'll eat foods that you don't care about mm -hmm. because you think this is life. This is not a part of life. This is death. Everything has balance. Just because the ocean is deeper than the whole world, I bet you can't go down there, though. So it's an illusion to you. An illusion is anything you can physically experience, but it's not spiritually, cor spiritually correct. Excuse me. So we understand a white man is the creator of this because he was physically created, but was never spiritually created. Remember, ethromelanin is black. The first physical manifestation of melanin was euromelanin. The white man was not included in that prokaryotic cell. So where did he come from? So he, the creation is in the nature of the creator. He creates everything in his image because that's all he can do. Now, spirit, spirituality is natural. Religion is artificial. Whites are not a natural part of the universe, and therefore they have no connection to the universe, which is God, the creator. Therefore, they made one up. And you and you and use religion to make you worship their God, which is really a devil. Remember, the Bible says the devil is a reptilian. We make things up as kids when we don't have. How many of us was running around talking about you, you, motorcycle? You ain't had no damn motorcycle. <laughs> White people know they don't have a God. So they made one up. In favorites of their real creator, a reptilian. White people will tell you 
that they reptilian. White people will tell you this. I'm not making this up. Biologists, I'm saving some information for when I go smash Unk in a debate. Biologists will tell you we are not humans. We are not like black people. We are. We don't even know where we come from. That's what they will tell you, but they know. They just can't tell you that. So they will tell you they have a whole, we have 12 strands of DNA, they have two. So you telling me the monkey, which never had 12 strands of DNA, let's say if it did, lost 10? That's a big loss. You ain't say he lost one, two, maybe even, you ain't even say he lost five. You said he lost 10? No, 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 no. So the white man is unnatural. By default, everything he creates is unnatural. And he gets his help from his creator, which is a dragon. Now we understand your higher self. Them chakras connecting you to the sun. You see it. Here y'all go. Your higher self. You connect with your higher self by channeling your energy internally from the root chakra through the heart chakra, which in turn activates the crown chakra, which is the baby soft spot on the head when they first come out the womb. Mm. This connects you to the creator. Now, why is this important? Because religion is external, not internal. It teaches you to seek that which is outside of you for salvation yep. instead of inside of you. So when you say, God, please help me, you kick in that energy. But when you say, you know what, I'm going to change this, you went in. So religion teaches you to go out. It don't teach you to channel your own energy. Because if you're not channeling your energy outward, how can you get stuck on the spider web? If a fly was just standing still, it would never get stuck on the spider web, but it flew out. You have to go outward in order to come in somebody else's realm. Just like you got to go outside and get hit by a car. If you would have been in your house, you would have never got hit. Now... Your soul and body is connected to the creator through the solar system, which I broke down a hundred times. Religion makes you disconnect by teaching you not to study astrology and that thinking of yourself of God is blasphemy. Remember, you get your soul from the sun and you get your elements and everything from the planets. And if one of them planets shift, your arm literally might break. It's like a giant puppet master. All of, we're all intertwined and connected through gravity. This is why white people can't dance, they can't do nothing because they're not connected to that. Melanin vibrates at 432 hertz, minimum. The universe has a love frequency of 432 hertz, minimum. The diameter of the sun is, eight, is 864,000. If you divide that evenly into itself, which is 2,000, 864,000 divided by 2,000, and guess what? 432. The radius of the sun is 432. Your melanin is 432 hertz. The love frequency is 432 hertz. And they wonder why we the best everything. Right. And then they dancing like this. Right. Looking stupid. Because they not in tune. Right. That pineal gland comes to fire. You have no melanin. So we have to understand this is, they study you. And they put it into this Bible not to study astrology. Because this would just be studying your higher self. They put it into the Bible not to see yourself as God. Because if you if you projecting yourself eternally, then how can you project yourself externally to a reptilian or an evil deity? Huh. Now, in the Bible, because a lot of people might like to say, it's not in the Bible, they never said that. Don't worry, I, I come with it. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, I mean, ah, Deuteronomy. <laughs> Chapter 4, um, verse 19, it states, Do not gaze towards the heavens. This is God talking. Chilling. Do not gaze towards the heavens and observe the sun, the moon, the stars, the entire array of the sky. With the intent to worship and serve with the Lord, your God gave every nation. For the Lord took you and brought you out of the iron smelting furnace, out of Egypt, to be the people of his inheritance as you are today. That verse just told you, don't you, you better not look at astrology. And I took you out of Egypt to be of my inheritance. But remember who God is. Right. A reptilian. Why would you take me out of Egypt, which was the, probably the most astrological people ever on the planet within the last 8,000 years, right. and then tell me don't study that? Because that's like taking a fish out of water and telling them, don't you go back to that water. <laughs> Why would you take me out of my power? And you don't want me to know my power. See, the Bible knows what it's doing. And these pastors, they don't even know this. They don't care to know. They just know I'm getting money. Yep. They be making stuff up. Yep. I've seen some old Creflo Dollar literally made something up. The man said, Romans chapter 78. I'm like, damn, I went and got my said. <laughs> Romans don't even go to 78. And he was like, the Lord said, you got to get him with the blessing. You want the blessing, you don't want to get him money. I'm like, what's going on with the bank? And people are like, yup, 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 yup. So they up. all on the web. This whole time, that they don't got no more room on their web. They're like, you got to wait to get your soul, Cypress, sir. So, <laughs> blasphemy. <laughs> blasphemy. 
The book of Mark, chapter 3, verse 29. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost hath never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. What? So God went higher on this than astrology. God said, we will never forgive you if you look at yourself as God. And you're burning hell forever. Like, damn, God. Because if you're righteous, why wouldn't you want me to look at myself as you? If you're righteous. Like I tell people, he got mad at when Adam and Eve ate from the tree of knowledge. But that's a slave parable. That was meant to scare slaves from information. Because if they would have kept reading, then they would have seen everything that was going on. That's why they didn't allow you to read anything but the Bible. Because they knew the Bible had these spellings and cursings to put you on these vibrations to get your soul cipher. Half of them slave masters was actual reptilians. And you had black people, no shots at the Moors, the Moors, who they were allowed to retain their knowledge and was actually doing transplants. These slave masters wasn't living. Oh, that's Big Bucky. Bucky been doing work. I need his heart. Go look up some pictures of George Washington on his horse. He always got a little more by him with a turban on. You think that little more was just living in 1578? No. So it, black people was black people was like, don't eat me and I'll help you. So don't get it twisted. There's always been traitors. Not saying the Moors is traitors because the me is just another black person. But the point I'm trying to make is they they've been harvesting us since day one. No, yeah. Don't don't worship astrology, and that's blasphemy if you do. Now, family, um, to end this lecture, I'm gonna go out with saying we have to understand that this is a giant farm. You live on a farm. And black people. We so scared to, could you hold this please? We so scared, how you gonna fight the white man? See, one thing about the white man, we say we call them rednecks. The Ku Klux Klan is, guess where they at? They in the woods, they in nature. So how you gonna fight the white man? You ain't never been out the projects. You scared of a bee, you be at the park like, oh, it's a bear, it's a bee. They living with the bears, how we used to be. So if a war pop off right now, you scared of the animals for the damn white man come. Imagine if, if you would have been in that graveyard with that thing, you'd have had a heart attack. So, we ain't ready. We ain't ready. And everybody focused on my J's, new, 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 new. And I be telling people, when them white people took over that federal building, you better just be lucky it was your house. You wasn't, it wasn't your house. They let them white people take over. Them white people had enough heart to take over a federal building. They would have came up in your house with no problem. Raped you, whatever. And all them tough guys when they did nothing. And it's just one young pharaoh. I can't help you too much. So we got to understand what we playing about. What you playing about? All these kids in here, y'all, we going to, we here, we at the Young Pharaoh Lecture. Forget that. Go home and change something in your life. Because mm -hmm. if 40 white people run up in your house, you, if you think the white man was reluctant to get them out of a federal building, they're not coming in the projects to get them out your house. The white people going to be in their house doing everything they want to do with these kids. And you ain't going to never see them again. And they're going to be in Israel somewhere getting sacrificed. And you're going to be looking stupid. And what Black Lives Matter talking about that yeah, wasn't right. And they're going to say, shut up, here go five million. What? Shut up. So, black people, we have to understand that we are living in a spiritual spider web. Most of our family is gone mentally. It's over for them. My grandma, right. I love her. Grandma, you're gone. I ain't right. trying to say right. gone. Right. They got you. So it is what it is. We have to understand a lot of people are spiritually, have spiritually exactly. sold their souls without knowing. Absolutely. Through religion. Drop the religion. Teach people the truth about religion. Don't Look. stop trying to tell them God ain't real. Tell them you God is real, back. but your God is the devil. And then show them. Show them that they worship the devil, just like the white man. There's A Christian is no different from Aleister Crowley. You just turned down a little bit. You ain't turned up. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we have to understand, black people, we are in, a, this is a spiritual war. Like I say, this is not just a physical war. You're in a spiritual war. We've been in a spiritual war because we're spiritual beings. We just forgot that. So remember that and cultivate yourself. Because as scary as everything was I just showed you, we could change this overnight. Yeah, we can. If we just change our minds and change our frequencies. That's right. So it's time to change the frequency of the black community. Like I said, get power. We're going to clean ourselves up first. If you're Muslim, I need you. you Hebrew, I need you. you Christian, I need you. you gay, I need you. Until he's gone. Then once he's gone, I can say, take that damn costume off. Please, Muslim, take that off your head. But until then, we need each other. We need each other. Hotel. So, the black woman is God. Stay away from religion. Understand religion makes you worship devils. Go research everything you see in this presentation. Um, I will be putting this um, in a format. I recorded it. I'm going to format it so that it can be for the public. Whether it be on DVD or YouTube, it will be out for the public for y'all to get this information. Um, I love y'all. Peace. Holla at me. Peace.